Be a part of history and subscribe to my two YouTube channels and join the 100,000 pharaohs that exist. And of course, follow me on Twitch as I create a radio station from the ground up. They ain't never seen a young black reporter coming like this. All right, Mr. Telefeto TV, how's everybody doing? The Migos, clearly they're out doing interviews promoting their new album, Culture 2. Please check that project out for the culture, no pun intended there. The Migos are doing press and they stopped with Big Boy and Big Boy's in the neighborhood. And y'all know Big Boy is by far to me the best hip hop personality ever. That's just my opinion. And with that being said, um, there was a question asked to Big Boy or from Big Boy rather uh, to the Migos. Do you guys think y'all are the best group? And I'm gonna put on the screen what the Migos responded. Not only do they think they're the best group, Offset said, look, we the biggest group ever, ever. Un in pop, hip hop, all that, because every genre in music right now is structured off us. We got this culture. And then Quavo kind of stepped in and backed that statement up. He said, we said in the trends, we came out with it, easy call. Now, listen, Migos, I am huge fans of you guys. Um, Let's pull back. Let's pull back for a second. Biggest group in hip hop, yeah, I'll give you guys that. And, and maybe even of all time, right? Um, but to say you guys are the biggest music group ever, um, I don't know if that's truly factual. Now, le let's make it clear. To give to give the Migos credit, yes, when they say that the, the whole culture is kind of doing what they do right now, yes, that is an effect that's everywhere. Every, every group or every artist in hip-hop right now they're trying to see what the Migos are doing and how they're so successful. Yes, for sure. And every, I think most pop talents, they want a feature from an artist like the Migos. Yeah, they want to, they want something that they can take and put it in their pop world by, by getting that hip hop audience, right? Everybody wants that to be able for their music to kind of cross over on uh, many different platforms and genres, right? The EDM, hip hop, pop, all of it. Have the Migos set remarkable trends and made remarkable history? For sure. And of this generation, I'd even bring up a case that maybe between them and U2 and some of these other big pop groups, yeah, Migos are one of the biggest groups of this era, maybe the biggest, but when we start talking about all time, listen, Migos, all due respect, have you heard of guys like the Beatles? They've sold a lot of records. Have you heard about a group called One Direction? Have you ever heard of a group? I don't know if you heard of these guys. You know, they go by the Jackson 5. Have you ever heard of them? I'm just saying. Look, all due respect to the Migos, uh, but uh, Michael Jackson is the biggest entertainer of all time. And if he was a part of that group, which is Jackson 5, his brothers, um, I would consider them maybe one of the, between them and the Beatles, the biggest groups of all time. Again, no disrespect to the Migos, but we start talking about biggest groups of all time. Remember, you're in your wave right now and you deserve to be cocky and arrogant. But, yo, boys to men, when we talk about music, right? Groups, uh, R&B groups like Boys to Men, New Edition, and to me, Drew Hill as well. This, this is my opinion. In my opinion, these groups have made records that are going to stick in this world forever. The Jackson 5. A, B, C, you're going to be singing that. that gen generations down the line are going to be singing that type music. Can we guarantee that people in the next 100 years are going to be singing Amigos music? Because I know for sure people are going to get married to boys to men. They're going to be singing New Edition. You know what I mean? I can't. Jagged Edge, their record is going to live way past um, right now. You know what I mean? Their, their wedding song. So, yes, I think the Migos have an opportunity, if we want to be honest, they could be maybe the richest group of all time. They're going to break a lot of records, and yeah, we're going to look up and be like, yes, Migos, they really did their thing, and the numbers might kind of vouch what they're saying, but I don't think, you know I mean, when it's all said and done, all time, and they put out a lot of music, by the way, which is going to help their case. They have much more opportunities. They're going to put out probably 30, 40 albums when they're done with this thing, the way they put out music. But when we talk about impactful music, Migos music, yes, it, it impacts a lot of hip hop. It impacts the pop world too. But some of the groups that I previously named made records that impacted the world forever, right? And I just don't think the Migos music is that impactful. They've impacted the hip hop culture and changed it forever, for sure, for good or for bad. When we start talking about bigger than the Jackson 5, 
Some of my favorite groups like New Edition, Jagged Edge, Boys to Men, Drew Hill, just to name a few. And R&B, Casey and Joe, you know what I mean? They just got records that meant more to people. People got memories tied to these records. And I'm not trying to take anything away from people because I got a memory tied to Bad and Bougie. You know what I mean? But not in the same respects as what we're talking about when we bring up some of those previously named groups. Especially not the Beatles and the Jackson 5. Y'all talk to me, comment box below. I would love your opinions on this. Do you believe the Migos are the biggest group ever? They believe so, and I would love your comments. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. Salute. We're just trying to have these healthy debates in the comment section. That's all. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Music is subjective, as we, as we all know. It's an opinion based thing. Y'all talk to me. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.